Okay, just a really quick update on Bohemian Rhapsody, how um, it's coming along. Um, if you've been following along, I'm rebuilding a 1989 Vagabond uh, presidential style camper that I had to completely demolish myself. So as you can see, I still have stuff I have to do. Like I'm working on the tram up there today. Um, made the covers myself. So working on tram. I do hang stuff occasionally um, for inspiration because if I'm just out here working all the time by myself and trying to figure something out and trying to figure out how I want to do something, I need inspiration. So I'm not trying to justify. No, I don't have to justify, but I do decorate as I go just for inspiration. So it is the theme of, well, it's called Bohemian Rhapsody, but it's um, a little bohemian a little, a little mm, weathered country vintage with the wood that came from our new farm. And then um, just fun colors like the purple. And then trying new stuff like decoupaging inside there myself. All of that is gray weathered wood, but that's decoupaged. And then that's gray weathered wood from the actual property that we bought. And so as you can see, it's coming along. I'm really thrilled with the colors. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of wicker furniture. Not a whole lot of furniture in here, so I'm kind of going minimalistic. Still have stuff to do. I'm not crying anymore when I'm out here. Um, some things I've discovered about myself is um, I can pretty much do anything I set my mind to. I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything, but I don't know anything about construction. As it shows in certain spots. But... I can overcome it. I can run a power tool. Um, some things I've discovered about um, building something like this is size really matters when it comes to screws. I don't know how many times, and I don't mean to sound naughty when I say that. I'm talking about actual screws. I have to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth to the hardware store for the right saw blade or the right size screw or the right drill bit and it pays to have sharp tools it pays to have the right tool safety matters and slow down and think ahead like I didn't think ahead right there I should have thought ahead I should have made that board shorter and that one come all the way out I didn't think ahead but I'm thinking ahead on the other side of the room before I do anything over here I'm putting up the trim so just always think ahead and uh, I've had to make things myself like those custom covers up there I just have to like the wall switch plates like I'm gonna make them and um, I want something that holds my solar light in the window so once I put the boards up I'll make a holder um just fabricate stuff I can't find the right size frames to hold those window panes right there so I had to buy aluminum and I have to fabricate it I have to make it so be prepared for that if you go to <laughs> renovate one of these old girls because her parts are kind of hard to find oh before I go my little 1989 chandelier I just love it I call it my precious it is just that uh what's that stuff called lycra it's from the 80s. Oh my God, it's so plastic. It's so perfect and I love it. And see, we had to, you can't find the right fittings and stuff. So we had to use the toothpaste trick to figure out where some, where some screw holes go. <sighs> so much, so much, so much. Haven't started the floor yet because I'm finishing everything and then I'm going to decoupage my floors. So, okay. So I want it. Then the electric works all the way through. We did discover that. I had to work out some bugs and kinks, but we got the electric working, so that's it so far. Okay, ta-ta.